Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I'm going to be learning how to make chicken ke- kebab masala. So what you will need is one onion, two teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of tandoori masala, two bread slices, four to five green chilies and green coriander and also one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. So you're going to blend these because then the onions and the green chilies and the green coriander they're going to get chopped. So these ingredients are for the kima and then the tarka ingredients they're going to come up. So now you're adding all the masala and you're also going to add the kima after but you're uh, going to uh, mix the kima in the same blender. In the same batch so what you're going to do is you're going to break the pieces of the bread and then you're going to put it in and you're going to blend it now she's adding the kima so the kima is like a little less than one kg So that's properly blended and now you're going to chop the onions for the tarka. So you're going to need two onions, two tomatoes, two teaspoon of basar, one and a half, one and a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of coriander, two green cardamoms and uh, one cin- cinnamon stick, tezpatta, two, two tezpatta, two tezpatte. Um, one teaspoon of garam masala, two to three ta- tablespoons of yogurt, and one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. So we've chopped the onions, and now you're going to add them into the oil. The oil was about two tablespoons. So you can make them into any shape and you have to you can make the kebabs in any shape and you're not going to fully cook them because you're just going to seal them so that they don't break in the tarka. So about the video, we fast we fast forward it because obviously the procedure is long and then it was too long of a video. So, so yeah, that's why it's really fast. But none of our other videos are like that. So now you're going to add the ginger and garlic paste and then what you're going to do is that you're going to add the tomatoes which are chopped and then you're going to let that sit and soften and then after it's softened you're going to turn the heat down and then you're going to let that cool and then you're going to turn it into a paste. So I forgot to say this, you're going to cook all the masala with it. So our kebabs, they're ready. So we take them out. We put tissue under them. So now we've added the tomatoes and all of the masala and we've just added tomatoes. This is the part that was really slow. So if you have to see this, I'm really sorry. But So you're going to, this part is that you proper soften the tomatoes or else it's not going to turn into a proper paste.
Well, it's going to smooth the paste. So now that our tomatoes are fully softened, we're going to add the masala. And now we're going to, now that they cool down, we're going to turn it into a paste and blend it. So we've blended it, it's turned into a smooth paste and that's going to be like the curry bit. So you're going to add the water and the water is about, so you're going to add the water, which is one cup. So as you can see that's turned into like a watery paste so you're going to cool that for five minutes and now we're going to add the kebab and you're going to let that cook for 10 minutes. So what you're going to do with this is if you like a thick curry you're going to let it cook for more and then if you like like thin curry you're going to cook it for 10 minutes because you need to let the kebabs fully cooked because we didn't fully cook them before so now we're going to add the yogurt which was three tablespoons so now she added a pinch of garam masala now it's fully ready so if you like this video share it with all your family and friends and you can have it with the roti or you can have it with or you can have them with naan but if you like this video share it with all your family and friends and yeah that's how to bake chicken kebab masala so yeah Bye, Allah Fizz. It was really good.